Big Stevie Cool back again, 1872. Let's react to that Clement presser, shall we? But I think the guy is talking absolute mince. He's backtracking. He's almost burying the fans. So let's talk about the burial of the fans first, all right? I get Clement's point. He's like, fan opinion won't change what team I pick. That's very well good, son. But that team you're going to pick, and they do want you to pick with John Lundstrom in there, it's going to hoover you to a job. It's one thing, you know, I get it. Come on, he's got all his, he's won league titles before, he's managed league titles before. All right, troops, he's got teams over the line, didn't get us over the line. But coming out and saying stuff like that, I don't know, it's not a good look. I get it, we just, we're fans, we put our input in. But him coming out and saying that, oh, it doesn't matter what the fans think about John Lonson because I'm the manager. So, but if you keep picking the same thing that's costing us in old firms over and over again, losing a midfield battle... I mean, that's what the old firms are won at the end of the day, your midfield battle, and if you're losing that every game, more often than not, you're going to be losing the game. And, yeah, I mean, I'm not liking what Clement's coming out and saying recently, I'll be honest. I, I, I'm losing, not that I'm losing faith in the guy, but I think he's just, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know what way to describe it. He's almost just coming out, ranting a load of shite. Not even ranting, just in his boring manner, his boring, boring demeanour. And I, I mean, I hope the guy... Wins everything at Rangers, but coming out and saying that about the fans, I don't know. He could end up with egg in his face, man. If, if he plays Lundstrom, right, and Lundstrom has another shiter in that game against Celtic on Saturday, then, I, I mean, it's not the fans that look stupid, it's him. No, to, to flip it, if he plays Lundstrom and Lundstrom plays out his skin and somehow carries us to an old firm win, then, I mean, I guess Clement looks relatively all right. But again, I think it's very questionable to come out and pretty much bury the fans like as it is. It's bloody freezing, is he? Out here in the wind. You know what I mean? But I, I, I don't like I don't like him coming out and saying that about the fans. You know, he basically said it doesn't matter what the fans say, but this is the same guy who pretty much said, oh, you can't say that about the players, so he'll, he'll bury the fans, right? But when Dujon Stillman comes out and calls them rightfully shit, by the way, he'll blast him for that. He'll blast certain players for standing up to him and standing up to the team playing pish. I don't think that's a good look. Uh, moving into the second order of business is that he's pretty much saying that the media and fans and people like that, pundits, have took his comments against Hearts out of context where he said it would take something massive and they would rip up the team and there'd be wholesale changes in the summer. Hold on, mate. There are your words. That's what you said. And it looks like he's backtracking on them, man. And that's not a good look. He's back... I think, I think uh, the pressure of the Glasgow Goldfish Bowl could be getting the big fill. I mean, I, do, I think it's been getting to him for a while. You know, he's coming up with some of these things, you're just like, really? Even just some of the stuff after, the, oh, John Lundstrom, he's got a futurist. I mean, I, I was bricking it when he said that initially, and now he's kind of doubled down, don't you? Back down, double down, Lemmy style, and I just feel John Lundstrom starting, that's going to be a disaster. Right, come on, Jake. Jake. This way. Big man, big lab. Rudding about, laying the smack down. But, uh, could David Jake run the bit in the midfield? Seven and a half year old, but it's on like it's a generic jackhammer and you could, could do some serious damage in there. But again, it's like, what, so there's not going to be wholesale changes? I, I don't get it. I don't grasp it. I'm not liking comments like that at the end of the day. Come on, come on, big man. Where you go? Don't be picking up that ball. Don't go, go. Bar was burst. Was burst, chief. Continue, continue on your your run. Pick up some sticks. Pick up more points, Jake. That Philip Clement did since March. I mean, yeah, Jose Cordobo, hefty. We need a wee bit more than that, all right. But that's more or less where we're going to end it, guys. I don't agree with his comments today. I feel like as every presser gets like under the belt and you dissect what he says. And, I don't know, I'm, I'm, it's not even faith, it's just like, really? Is that, is, that what you, is that the best you've got to say? It's just the way he worded it about the fans, man, he didn't need to word it like that. You know what I mean? I like a manager that thinks he's the man and thinks he's in charge and all that good stuff, but... Again, I'm not no a big fan. Oh, come on, kind of having a dig at the fans, but here, if he gets it right, we'll, 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 we'll have to greet about it, and we'll not greet about it, we'll be happy, we'll have to uh, take our medicine, so to speak, but... If he, you know, as I said earlier, if he plays come, if he plays Lundstrom in there, 
and we get beat and it's, you know, we lose the midfield battle and one swims at fault for a goal or two. That's going to make him look like a dick. 